Are you ready for the revolution? Okay, there is no revolution, but um, you know. Um, today, we're gonna be checking out top 10 scary childhood stories. Boy, you better get that out of here on three. One, two, three. Boy, you better get that out of here. All you have to do, please, just click the subscribe button. Do it now. And yeah, comment down below what kind of phone you have. Let me know. Illegal. Oh, uh, uh, gr gr grandma. What are y'all doing? This ain't no dance performance. Think this is a dance show? <laughs> this isn't a. This ain't a party. She's just going round and round while everybody else is holding on for dear life. Y'all don't even work here. You just showed up and forgot to put on your seatbelt. I've never seen such craziness before. I mean, dang, the nun and Jigsaw just dancing around. Did somebody throw a rock at them or something. You guys are clearly out of control and off of your medication. Either way, that does look kind of fun until the ride malfunctions and then throws y'all off, but I'm sure y'all will be fine. Look, I can't escape this story because it's everywhere that I look. The huge question around Natalia Grace, was she a little girl or was she an adult when she was adopted? If you don't know the story, it was Christine and Michael Barnett. They were the adopted parents who took in Natalia Grace. He was believed to be a Ukrainian child who was suffering from a rare form of dwarfism who they took in and they believed she was age six. His family started to suspect that Natalia may not actually be who she said she was. She's not a six-year-old. She might be an adult posing as a child. The family has their suspicions. They think she's violent and dangerous, so they leave her in a separate apartment and then abandon her in 2013. Eventually, those parents are arrested on two counts of felony child neglect, but the question is, was she nine or was she 22? when she was abandoned. What the heck? See, this is why I don't adopt. <coughs> oh, yeah. Because you don't know what you're getting. You might be getting somebody who you think is six, but they're actually 22 posing as a child. But yeah, you can't be charged with child neglect if they're not a child. So you gotta get your lawyer. You gotta get them to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that you're innocent. I bet she knows that. She's 22. They said she's violent and dangerous. How is she violent and dangerous? She barely two feet tall. What are you gonna do? Bite my ankle? <laughs> That's not funny. If you laugh, you're a bad person. All right. Go slow. Go slow. That's what she said. Oh no. If one of these popped out at me, I would literally die. Yeah, seriously though. Okay, too close. I hope your windows are rolled up. Seriously, if one of them just started running and chasing you, whoo! How do these people sleep in this house at night with this in here? Good question. It's, it's not it's not even Halloween. Like what are y'all doing? You guys just keep this in your yard all year round? This is somebody who clearly needs help. Don't knock on their door. Do not ask them if they want to buy your Girl Scout cookies. Because then they'll just take you and lock you in their basement. And you're gonna be- Is he holding the stop- You're holding on to the stop sign? What are you doing, ghost face? Let go of the sign. That's a fire hazard. In a weird way, y'all are making me hungry. Guys, what should we eat for breakfast? Uh, breakfast? Lunch? Is it lunchtime where you're- uh, Dinner? Some pizza sound pretty good. A little bit of Parmesan on it. Cheese? Yeah. Anyway, this is one it's of my the girlfriend. greatest urban legends I've ever heard, and it ended up being true. So almost a hundred years ago, there was an aquarium in Australia that had a giant tiger shark on display. And the legend goes that one day in front of like groups of families, the shark threw up a human arm. Oh. And not only is that true, but it opened a murder investigation. So after the shark threw up the human arm, the police had to figure out whose it was and why it was in the shark's belly. The heck? Well, the first thing the police noticed was the arm was cut cleanly, not jagged like it was from a shark bite, meaning that the arm was intentionally cut. So now it's clear that this was a murder, but whose arm is it? Well, one thing they notice is that the arm has two boxers in a fighting stance tattooed on it. So they end up writing about that in the paper and one guy who was reading it goes, hey, that sounds like my brother's tattoo. His brother was a man named Jim Smith and he was involved in the seedy underbelly of Sydney society. Jimmy ran insurance fraud scams in Sydney and he was just involved with a lot of bad people. 
And the last person he was seen with was one of Sydney's most notorious criminals. Dang, girl. You're telling me there's just sharks out there spitting up human arms? Ugh. I told you, you stupid shark, that that's bad for your belly. It wasn't gonna digest properly. And girl, there's a shark behind you. He's about to bite you with those jagged teeth. This is why I just don't go in the ocean. Okay, I'll look, I'll go to the beach, I'll chill up on the shore, but I ain't going in the water. Cause you don't know what sharks are in there and then sharks just waiting to bite your booty. He's gonna take a clean bite out of it like an apple. You wanna go in the pool? That's fine. But the ocean, where there's sharks, not today. Now, if she wants to go in the ocean, then I, I, I probably will go in the ocean as well. I'll probably, I'll probably, I'll be right there, right there behind her. Things that used to look terrifying. It, what is going on with your face? Ugh. The Easter Bunny? Look at the Easter Bunny's cute. Look, ugh. It didn't used to be. Okay. Police officers. All right, you just look badly dressed. <laughs> That's all. I mean, I mean, the Easter Bunny, that was scary. How the heck did we get to this from this? You don't look like an Easter Bunny. You look like a dang praying mantis. No wonder this child looks uncomfortable. This child's not trying to look at your Easter Bunny crazy face. Y'all actually took a photo with this thing and were like, this is going to be a great addition to the family album. It's not. You guys need to get rid of that photo, rip it up into pieces, burn it, and throw it in the garbage. Here are five photos of the most disturbing things people have found when they moved into a new home. And if I saw what was in photo number three in my attic, then I'd know I was definitely in a horror movie. First one. No! If this is in your basement, then you don't have a new home. You have a haunted house. Next up. If you can see the exact spot where the previous owner passed away, then you might need to knock the house down and start again. Uh -huh. Next up, imagine climbing up into your attic for the first time and seeing Ooh. this. You know you'd wake up and hear it clapping at 3 a.m. Clapping cheeks! Next, a photo with the caption, Do you see him? Found in the attic. Uh, no, but should I? He's behind you. Last one. Do you think that finding 37 clowns buried under the porch of your house is disturbing? Well, I suppose it's better than finding a bunch of people buried under a clown's house. <laughs> Wait, oh, oh, what? Did this white man actually just say, Finding 37 clowns underneath a human's house is better than finding 37 humans under a clown's house? Do clowns even have houses? I don't think so. Don't buy like these old, weird, creepy, evil looking, smelly, stanky houses. Get something new, new construction houses. All right, that way you know like oh nobody died there. You want to get some brand spanking new booty spanking new the dang Serbian dancing lady You just out at night dancing by the garbage Why would you do this if you see this lady outside doing this dance? Don't film her cuz you know good and well She's gonna turn around and then start running at your house. Let me tell you something There would be no better time than a car just speeding through and running her over would have been perfect, but you know, no, they done messed it up. A woman in Russia has been caught having superpowers. Watch for yourself. What is with the grainiest, glitchiest video footage? Oh, uh oh. Did you see that? This girl is floating. The man was just recording his dog on a walk and came across this. And when they heard the dog bark, they got scared and they ran. I don't know, guys, is she levitating by herself? Is this what Dua Lipa was talking about? Ha ha ha, you're so funny with that Dua Lipa joke, you jerk. Um, yeah, that girl looked like she's floating. It's turning into Stranger Things up in here. It's gotta be something better you can do with your time, girl, than just be up in the air floating. If you see another person that looks identical to you, run away and hide. I ain't running away from squat. Okay, if you see that in the mirror, you need you need to get a new mirror, girl. Break it. Break the mirror and buy something else. Yeah, that smile though. What the heck? Look at her. She scared herself. I've done that too. Where I look in the mirror, I'm just like, ugh. Happens to the best of us, and in your case, the worst of us. So, <clears throat> yeah. But yeah, go ahead. Click on the screen and watch another one. Yeah, man.